I mean, the the thing is, Terror, that uh, Vintage on Magic Online is extremely affordable. The With the existence of rental programs and the Vintage decks costing less than a modern deck, if you want to play Vintage, you can totally play it on Magic Online on a reasonable budget. So, the with, you know, the limiters removed on who can play based on you know, um, finances... Fifteen year olds, the fifteen year old Magic Online grinders are are killing it right now, playing vintage. So, or are you just talking about that deck? <laughs> there are there are actually like a bunch of uh, kids, teenagers doing very well playing vintage re recently. So. All right, chat, let's refocus. This is now round three of Vintage Eternal Weekend Mishra's Workshop. Let's begin. Keep. This is two redraws and full PO mana, so I'm, I'm down. And full knowledge of what they're working with. Obviously, I can brick land land and die, but fine. Ew. Well, if we hit PO off of one of our two draws, we probably win. Chess guy players. Remora. Okay. Oh, should I hold these for the Aereo? Let's see. If I draw Aereo next turn, I would have had to hold one Moxon. I should have held one more Moxon. Sorry, that was a mistake. I forgot we were playing bad cards in our deck and we had to actually adjust our game plan. I sure hope I don't get punished. Uh, I was supposed to hold one of these Moxon in case we drew the, the Aereo on this time walk draw. Safe. So you, it, it's a dichotomy. You, you, you want to play out your Moxon because you don't want them to get locked under Lavinia, but you don't want to play out your Moxon because you don't want them to get Shattering Spree or Dacked. It, it's kind of un, it's kind of awkward. Um, but you, you more want to just play out your Moxon so you don't get Lavinia. This will be sweet, though. It'll be hard for opponent to establish a board. We have plenty of mana to pay for our Remora. So as long as we can find some action, this Remora should, uh, should help. Opponent's not going to make any action right now. I say, as opponent makes an... Oh, okay. Are they going to just Pyroblast my Remora after I pay for it? I guess that's fair. No, they're not going to. Um, I'm not going to play this island. I'm going to represent Hardcast Force of Will. I don't think the island will matter. We have about infinite mana. So I think they're just going to go for an end of turn kill on my Remora, which is, you know, it's a good value trade for me. It's a two for one. All right, I got their card for free. Imagine if we just draw that hard cast force of will. Really get them. I think they should Pyroblast the Remora. P-O-P-O-P-O-P-O-P-O-P-O-P-O-P-O-P-O-P-O-P-O. Unfortunate. Not a bad draw, though. Not a bad draw. Certainly a good draw for us. Time walk. Days brainstorm. Three unknowns. Days brainstorm. Two unknowns. But they drew a fetch land for their, for their brainstorm. Get to, get to get rid of their days. Oh, okay, Arcanist. So they're not going to go for Brainstorm. So we know Brainstorm days. I mean, we're in a pretty decent spot here if we can draw some action and they don't have a Force of Will as their last card or like a Pyroblast as their last card. Ooh. Ooh. Say it ain't so. So if I want to play around Fluster, I currently have... Two mana for Merchant Scroll, four mana for PO, and a land. So I could technically Merchant Scroll PO Fluster. Or sorry, Merchant Scroll for PO and beat Fluster. No, I don't beat Fluster because they have a daze. 
Let's see. So I have exactly... Hmm. We don't actually beat Fluster. Okay, interesting. In that case, we should just start Wide Knights Whispering. We lost round 10 to Golos Shops, and then we lost top 8 to Doomsday. The wheels fell off, as it was. I guess what we can do is... Merchant Scroll for a PO, and then PO on their turn. That would technically play around Fluster. Why would I do that? Why don't we just jam this PO and say... I don't care. Make them have it. I can play around Force of Negation. No, then they, can, then they get to Brainstorm. I don't want to do that. I'm just jamming. If they don't have it, they can Brainstorm, look for a Force. They just had Negation. Wow. All right, well, that's really bad for me. <laughs> They can just hard cast negation if I go on their turn, so it doesn't actually play around anything. So there's, I don't think there's any reason to wait. So, yeah, yeah, the only real reason to wait would be Flusterstorm. But then they have the ability to brainstorm with a fetch. So. I mean, they get double brainstorm. If they hit a land, they can go Mystic Sanctuary, a time walk. It's really bad. We probably... We probably lose this game, I would say, most of the time from here. But, I mean, we made all the right plays. Our draws just didn't line up. We drew a bit too many lands. If we had drawn a couple more spells instead of lands, I think we would have had a good shot. But, um, I mean, Night's Whisper and Merchant Scroll were both great draws, but... Like drawing, we drew land merchant, uh, land lotus off of merchant scroll or off of nice whisper, which wasn't didn't do anything for us. Yeah, I don't. I don't think we made any mistakes. I just think we drew one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana sources and. That's a little bit too many. All right, we got a turn back here. Um, I'm pretty down to untap this. I don't really see the harm. We still have six mana if we don't. Or so we have nine. Yeah, this is fine. Really? You gonna be like that deck? I see how it is. I think they have hard cast for us. They didn't hit a land, though, so they don't have um, Sanctuary Time Walk, which is good. Well, that's not good, because now they have double Preordain. All right, well, this is a tough matchup, and if we draw a lot of lands, it's not an easy one to win. We did draw Remora and Night's Whisper, which are two of the best cards in the matchup. So, it's only some amount of complaining we can do. <laughs> I mean, we kept a pretty action light hand. But we had two redraws. So. An opponent had no force of will, right? So, like, if if on one of our redraws we hit PO, we won the game. So, it's just a calculated risk kind of thing. Best thing that can happen is we draw PO and opponent has nothing. It's all we can hope for, really. We can, we don't have a Sphinx in our deck. <laughs> so we, we can't do that. They pitched Force of Will, Force of Will? I don't think that's a good sign, chat. I don't, I, this, does, this doesn't seem like a good sign for me. Ah. Uh, Got him. We only have one more fetchable land in our deck, so. Look at the bright side. I don't think they're I don't think opponent's gonna die to why would you steal that one? 
I don't think opponent's going to die to anything. They pitched Force of Will, Force of Will. <laughs> I don't know if it's possible for opponent to... Oh, they're out of preordains. This is good for the home team. I'm happy to announce my opponent does not have another preordain. I mean, I have Pyroblast answered. Cruise? Oh. Snap? Time walk? No, 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 no. Opponent. No, no, no. Opponent. Opponent. Mystic Sanctuary. Time walk to the top. Activate Dak Vade and draw time walk. No. No. Not like this. I'm not going to message them during the game. Stealing this doesn't really do anything. You're much better off activating your deck fade and drawing cards, especially if you have already have your land for Mystic Sanctuary. Under the assumption they had Mystic Sanctuary in their deck, which would be fairly likely. Oh, no. Well. Oh, that's Ancestral. I can stop one Ancestral, but that's it. Now they can... Ancestral, Mystic Sanctuary, Ancestral, Dreadhorde Arcanist, Ancestral. A really fair and balanced play that you can do in Vintage Magic the Gathering right now. What's better than one Ancestral? How about three Ancestrals? Do they Pyroblast it? Jerk. Mystic Sanctuary is just an insane magic. Wait, why don't they use Mystic Sanctuary? Elvis Champion Mono Green Elves? Some people are wilding. Oh, well, now we don't have any outs. Bro. All right, I understand. We were not supposed to win this game of Magic the Gathering. All right, all right, let's go to game two. Let's go to game two. <laughs> let's, let's play this land, though. I think the hand that they kept was very beatable, but our hand was unwinnable <laughs> was the problem. <laughs> like opponent kept the no force of will hand and we had a very powerful turn one hand where we had our time walk. All we have to do is draw um, a PO or a Night's Whisper or something like uh, on the turn one or off probe. We just didn't happen. So. All right. Jess guy. Uh, Camball. Trap. Remora. Fluster. Fluster. Sword, Swords, Balance. Out goes Island. Urkels. Aereo. Uh, Lavinia. Mystic Tutor. Vampiric Tutor. Uh, Opal. Opal? I guess we can keep Aereo if we cut one more PO. Eh. I could keep a second opal and cut a repeal instead. Hmm. 
Mind Twist would have been better. Yeah. In these matchups, Mind Twist would have been pretty real. <laughs> pretty real. Should have listened to it. Yeah. Unfortunate. Do this. I don't, I don't want to keep in Aereo in the Pyroblast matchup. It's like really embarrassing. More embarrassing than normal. <laughs> it's okay. Lavinia is pretty bad in this matchup too, so it's not like there was a not like the other card was going to be very good either. All right, on the play, let's do it. Just guy, Tinker Hand. Yeah, this is this is keepable. Should we go land pass so that we can hold up Flusterstorm? I don't know. It's not really great. We could just go top instead. But then are we spinning top on upkeep? I mean, this is a mulliganable hand, but I don't think I would mulligan, so... I'm just going to fetch a Tundra and play a top, I think. And then I think I'm going to spin on upkeep. If we misstep this, go for it. I guess I don't actually want them to misstep this. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I take it back, opponent. Don't do this to me. You can force some negation it, though. Uh, I have tried uh, Vintage Slivers. It didn't work very well. Ruby for Pyroblast. I'm going to look for a fetch land here, I think. Ah, uh, Emerald Balance. At least I get to spin again, I guess. Some people are starting to play Force of Despair, Julian, so just be careful. Ah, uh, Ruby. Well, Ruby gets me to Tinker, so. Not that my Tinker is going to resolve, but. The world, a man can dream. A Sapphire too? I'm so jealous of my opponent. Oh, and an Ancestral. Well, this is a bad time. You're just going to jam your Ancestral right now? No mercy. I'm definitely not forcing Ancestral. I don't think I'm jamming my Tinker until I have Flusterstorm up. I, well, I know I have a balance in a Night's Whisper, so I'm only seeing one new card. If opponent only has one counter spell and no dazes, our tinker resolves and we win. I can't tinker on their turn. It's a sorcery. It seems unlikely, but also is this game getting any better? I'm sure opponent can play Fluster as well. I, I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass. I want them to, like, tap for the stupid Dread Horde, maybe fight over a Swords. Well, never mind. My opponent is going to look at my hand and know all of my secrets. Unless we brainstorm and hide the Tinker. What if we brainstorm and hide the tinker? <laughs> is that is that a is that a is that is that a thing worth doing in our lives? <laughs> brainstorm, hide the tinker. Fucking 
let's do it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's do it. I, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Bro, what are these? What are these cards? Game one, Brian, I actually kept one of the hands you were talking about with, um, yo, what if we just bait this, uh, hmm. let's see if there's a, let's see if there's a mana source underneath these two cards. There is a mana source underneath those two cards. But I don't have another blue source, so I can't even fluster anyways, so that doesn't actually matter. Unless they steal. Wait, okay, this is fine. Let this resolve. Wait, if I force this, they pyroblast back and we jam? Force this, they pyroblast back, we jam? Then they have to have force of will as their last card? But we don't need to force it because we have the backup, but then, yeah. All right, we'll just let this happen, I guess. We lose our top if we do that. But this scroll can shuffle. I mean, if we leave a Dak Faded in play, it's also going to beat us, so. I mean, if they have Force of Will and let this happen, then we lose. We're going to lose if they have Pyroblast and Force anyway. That's really good for us. That's really, really good for us. That's the best possible outcome that could have possibly happened. We can't ever beat a Flusterstorm with our Tinker line. I don't know. Maybe. So I draw a Tinker. I top top. I draw Pop Mox. I get to Tinker without a, a top in play. Sure. I mean, if we get Daze, we get Daze. If we get Force, we get Force. Like, no use worrying about it. Yeah, this is this is where we're at in life. I don't know if hiding the tinker was correct. Oh my god, this oh, people leaving in days versus PO. <laughs> Didn't opponent see game one where we had two hundred mana? All right, well we died, chat. Actually, Bryant, we kept one of the hands you were talking about in game one, like one land, four Moxin, probe, time walk. Keeping days on the draw versus PO, it, I would consider a slightly loose play, but... I don't think that's how it works, Raphael. Zaf, if we hit one land drop in this game, this this hand this hand, this hand is great. I don't know which like I don't think this is a mulligan at all. I wouldn't I, I don't I, I don't I didn't even like really consider a mulliganing this hand. I think it was great. It's not a great hand, but like sorry, by by it was great, I mean I, it was very playable.
Horse of Wolf, Luster, Top, Brainstorm, Land, Tinker. Yeah, I don't I can't can't see mulliganing that hand. If you're mulliganing Force of Will Tinker hands, I don't think you should play PO. That's the whole deck. <laughs> Obviously, Tinker's a little rough against my uh my opponent's Jess Guy deck, but my whole deck is a little rough against my opponent's Jess Guy deck. This is Tinka the deck. It's all good. Oh, is that a trick mine screenshot? Oh, you just love to see it. I love when Doomsday loses. Doomsday losing, that, that, that makes me a happy Magic player. Should I play around negation? No. All right, so they're going to flashback Ancestral. Why I'm still playing this game. I guess next turn I draw Balance, right? So I can hit their Dreadhorde Arcanist and their whole hand if they have no counters for some reason. Yeah. yeah. We did. I think Jess Guy was a great call for this weekend. Especially after seeing the data from uh, Eternal Weekend number one, where there were 39 PO players and like 30 bug players. Uh, we lost in the top eight yesterday, uh, Miha. We lost in the top eight. Oh. Jeez. We lose to both of these planes. I mean, this is like one of the reasons why we force on the DAC, because we're just going to lose to the DAC if it sits in play anyways. Joke's on you. I mean, this can get pyroblasted. Does this even accomplish anything by going anywhere? Yeah. Look how many mocks in they have. I'm so jealous. Dark face. All right. We did the dead things. Actually, I, I'm good here. I, I don't really want to sit through this. <laughs> uh, game two, we got crushed in game... Well, game one, we didn't draw the 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 gas. We kept the the land, four moxin, probe, time walk hand. And we just needed to... They actually kept a hand with no force, so all we needed to do was draw action. We drew Remora, which was okay. And then our Knight's Whisper whiffed on land, land mana, and then we drew four more lands. Yeah. Not ideal. So losses to Jess Guy and losses to Joe Brennan. So not unreasonable. Tough, tough matchups. Tough matchups.